Alright man, I never heard of gangsta grass in my life. What do you think that's about? Weed? <laughs> <Yo. laughs> Alright, here we go. What is going down, world? A welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. And it's your boy, Don Wannabe, back in the house once again. And, bro, I thought that in our course of doing reactions that we had seen it all. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we've seen mashups of rock, hip-hop, EDM, yeah, we've metal. Seen, we've seen nine-year-old sound Symphonic like metal. Edda James. And now we have Gangsta Grass. I told you it's the- A new genre. It's the age of genre. I thought you said it, it was a, some, some uh, you know, some of the sticky icky. Yeah, isn't that what Gangsta Grass Wouldn't is? Wouldn't that be an ill strain? Like, gangsta yeah, here's grass. that Gangsta Grass. Dang, yo. Man, so, you guys, I don't even know where I found this. Someone probably sent it to me. And, oh, actually, I think the homie Luke from Australia- like, he goes crazy. Like, he sends me these Facebooks, and by the time I check the message, there's, like, 30 <laughs> links. And I'll just scroll, and I was like, Gangsta Grass? That sounds amazing. So I just picked this. That's how I— Here we go. Now I remember. That's how I found We have this. no idea what we're getting into. I have into. no clue. Because people are like, yo, you should check this out. This is my favorite. Da, da, da. But so many people send me stuff. I just look for things that catch my attention now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because literally, it's, like, hundred thing, hundreds of things a day. Yeah. So I'm just like, okay. This caught my attention, the name. So Here that's why. Okay, now I remember. Yeah, brain fog lifting maybe. All right, you guys, uh, before we get started on this one, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all of the content. But if you really rock with the vibe, subscribe to the channel. Here we go. 40. 40-year-old 40 boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40-year-old boys are back in town. Podcast Malt Liquor for your ears. 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let me get this logo down, pull the video up. Don't forget, I dropped a new music video, Space Invaders. It's on the channel now. I need your guys' help getting me, helping me get that video to 10,000 views and beyond. And support the original content. I'm a rapper, put out music videos, parody sketches, interviews, podcasts. Support the original content the same way you do these reactions. And let's get it, you guys. Now, if you're watching this, it might be the 4th of July. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. Early light. Early light. What so proudly. We okay, you get the point. Shout out to America. You know America. America. Yeah. Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> All right, um, <clears throat> Gangsta Grass, you can never go home again. All right, here we go. Hmm. First, this is a blind reaction. <laughs> this is going to be titillating. Color, colorblind reaction. Hey, let's get it. Gangsta Grass, you can never go home again. Banjo. And I've learned that's a fiddle. It's a violin, but in, in a hoedown, it's a fiddle. Oh, really? There's no difference? I always thought they were different instruments. I think there, I thought there was a difference in strings, which there might be. But okay. when I did the Charles Daniels band reaction, there's literally a million definitions. Cause I was like, <laughs> what is that? A violin? And then, then he says it in the, in the, cause it's a first time reaction. I'm like, oh, it's a fiddle. And they're like, the difference between it. And I was like, okay, a violin and a fiddle. Well, fiddle sticks. Is a, uh, yeah. Anyways, well, fiddle we me go. this, fiddle me that. That's a banjo. That's a guitar. That's a fiddle slash violin. I'm learning, y'all. I'm learning about these genres. They just got plywood. <laughs> what is this, dude? That's plywood as a wall, right? Yes. Okay, maybe it's just because they're in the studio. Maybe this is a live session. Okay, cool. I remember 20 years ago I was standing in that courtroom My charges I could not defend The last thing the judge said to me As he handed down my sentence Was he can never go home agree 
with everything that the judge said If you come back around, I'm going out like Judge Dredd What was in your head when you made those choices? I can only hope that you were played by voices And you made the decision not to listen to the one That was on your side when you started to slide When mama brought you back home She was broken down to the bone Cause you had been gone so long But now her baby boy is back in the house You can see all the smile from her mouth I ain't never seen him this happy And then all of a sudden you dis- Yo, what the f*** is going on, bro? This is fire. Dude, this song is amazing. This is incredible. Yo, so it's go- So remember we reacted to Dirt Miller? And yeah. there's like this fusion of like folk tailing, folk tale. It's mm-hmm. like a folk song. Yeah. Little blue grass-ish. Yeah. But the story was like about the ghetto, about the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like the, it was a weird fusion. But this is like... I don't even know what to say, bro. It is, I guess, bluegrass. They said gangsta grass, and that's mm-hmm. a really good name for it. But this is giving me reminiscent of if the Gorillas, right, Clint Eastwood, yeah. did bluegrass, and like when he started rapping, I'm getting this like underground hip hop vibe, like Dell when Dell came. Finally, someone let me out of my cage. Like he's doing his own thing. He's totally himself. But like you know what I mean when we have that genre bending stuff going on like this is incredible i don't even know what to say honestly i thought it was going to be something totally different when i when i heard never uh go home again i was thinking like bro you messed up your girl caught you cheating i can never go home again like i roll up and all my stuff's out on my curb yeah exactly that's what i was thinking this is yeah because turn i feel like the name Okay, let's just keep it real, real quick. And Gangsta Grass, I don't know if they'll see this. I love this. This is amazing. But the name's kind of gimmicky. Mm-hmm. It kind of gets you through the door. That's why I chose it. I'm like, Gangsta yeah. Grass. But realistically, now I'm like, yo, it's ingenious. Yeah. Because it got me through the door, and you guys are amazing. Like, Brother Man singing. They're all playing. Homegirl comes in, sings with him. Sounds amazing. This brother, we ain't even got halfway through the song, and I'm like, I'm getting goosebumps talking about this song right now. Yeah. This is an amazing storytelling journey. And I would never in a million years, well, I wouldn't say that because now my mind's open, but I never imagined myself bumping bluegrass. This will go in my playlist. Yeah. This is going in the playlist. This is flame, dude. This, I just could hear this bumping this driving on a road trip, too, specifically. Like driving through New Mexico, Route 66. You're like, I got to get out of here before the devil comes. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is crazy, bro. Holy. Before Tom Hanks gets you. Yeah. And they try to take me to Steen Island. But they're yeah, like, Yo, you're too exactly. old. You're too old to be here. Yeah, yeah I'm not a You're about uh, 35 years <laughs> too old for us. <laughs> These efforts. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. All right. Gangsta Grass. Now, the only thing I wish was added to this, okay? Gangsta Grass. Listen, hear me out on this one, you guys. Yo. Well, why don't we just listen to the song? Because you don't know what could be added. Well, I'm going to say it mm-hmm. anyway. Because it's better to look mm-hmm. dumb on a first-time reaction than to look smart. So you get comments. Oh, okay. Anyways. Gotcha. Well, we're good at that. We're amazing. <laughs> That's never we're been the an issue for us. We're the goats. Uh, uh, so I can get this thought out of my mind before I'm really interrupted, you guys. Uh, the drums. The drums sound dope, but it's sounding like maybe it's a drum kit. So it'd be mm. cool to have a homie in the background playing the drum kit or someone actually, what, however they decided to do that. That's one thing. I was like, oh, everything is here live. Let us get the rest of it by just having the little dude on the sampler or actual drums, depending. Because I, I felt like it sounded like sample drums, but we'll see. Here we go. This is Gangsta Grass, you guys. You can never go home. This is freaking amazing. See all the smile from her mouth. I ain't never... My mama brought you back home. She was broken down to the bone. Cause you had been gone so long. But now her baby boy is back in the house. You can see all the smile from her mouth. I ain't never seen her this happy. And then all of a sudden you disappeared again. And she's crumbling down. The smile is gone from her chin. And she doesn't know where. And I don't even care. Cause you broke mama's heart twice. And it ain't even nice. Now I'm surprised as heck that she's wondering where you went. And I don't give a damn, friend. I don't even care. You done. Your time and you come back out that doorway. You will not find a loved one or a friend. You may return to the place where the people used to know you. But you can never go home again. Never go home. Never go home. You can never go home again. 
things these eyes have seen were horror by the strongest When it left at home I haven't been to in the longest Let a life by the sword forced to fall upon it The kites flew, there was nobody left to correspond with Familiar faces either passed on a flip So there wasn't much left for me to do except dip Too many years lost off the lies of a snitch So it was either do a bit or end up lying in the ditch Now, left to walk across the land is a mystery Every new town reinvent a new history I turn my back on my past just to get to see a new day Reframe my identity to get to sleep at night Man, I need about a fifth at least The dirty deeds that I did just to get to eat Melancholy and emptiness The unseen consequence of the conditions of release We found a man Bro, I'm like super excited about this Yeah, it's crazy because it's like he's telling the one side of the story From the perspective of like the brother or like, you know that's kind of what I took from it, or maybe even the dad, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Cause he's saying like, you broke mom's heart again. Mm-hmm. And he's telling his side of the story from the perspective of being the person like getting out. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just interesting cause I had no idea, you know, which direction this was going to take. And I just think it's a unique spin. Cause you always hear like in hip hop, you'll hear these different stories about going to jail and things like that. But it typically doesn't frame it this way of like yeah. the story of like, you know, explaining the perspective of like, you know, family members. Yeah. The other thing is, I don't know what it is, but the, well, f- let me hit that moonshine though, real quick. This is not moonshine fulio. It's uh electrolyte water. Oh. You fool. I thought you were about You're to trying start- to get us age restricted again. <laughs> I thought I thought you were about to start playing the jug. Have you ever seen that? Where no. they're like, where they you blow don't know into that? it? Where they it's blow. like that too. It's exactly one oh, like really? that with the little handle, they and they'll blow just start into blowing. it like a little. Yeah. I, I've never seen that, but I'm I I've, I've blown into things before. If you know what I mean. Pause. <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about when you're a kid, you're like, Whoa, oh, this makes a noise. Okay, yeah, come on, man. Anyways, oh. yo, the first brother looks kind of like MC Supernatural, he does. That's exactly what I was thinking, but he his cadence kind of reminded me of Chuck D. Mm. He had these moments where I was like, Oh, but he has his own thing going on, and this brother right here. I was like, you know, I've listened to a lot of hip hop and I was like, yo, I tried to pinpoint something, but I really couldn't pinpoint anything down to like, like compare it to, but like the storytelling was just so good. And there's something in there when he said, he said something, I had to turn my back on some of this history or like basically the wrongdoing or whatever Mm -hmm. to like, uh, to, uh, to kind of release or something of that nature. He said, but what I got from that was very profound because it could go in so many ways because it's like if anyone's ever gone to therapy, it's like you kind of have to deal with your past to be able to be present and move on. And if you don't deal with the trauma of your past and it's just weird in this day and age, people don't really understand that. And sometimes it's just interesting. But I, I really I just thought it was a profound bar. And I don't know if that's what he meant, but that's what I kind of got from it was like, you know. Well, he uh, talks about like going having to move from city to city to yeah. basically you said the conditions of this work release, which I know because I've been on work release and gone to jail and all these things and they make it so hard. And what I took Become it from a citizen it again is the story of somebody who just can't deal with it. They broke their probation. They just can't go back to jail. So it's just like this person like roaming across the country, yeah. you know, trying to dodge going back to prison and then dealing with all this like trauma. And then like he says, I can't go to sleep without drinking about a fifth. Yep. So and it's like he, going... The, he used a word that I haven't heard in a rap in a minute, melancholy. Yeah. I was like, but yo, what he was saying, everything, he was identifying the story you're telling. Mm-hmm. But in that one moment, the way he said it, I was like, yo, that could go so many different ways. The meaning, if you decide to dive into the perception of the meaning, it could go a lot of different ways if you choose to analyze it that way. And I was like, that was really cool. So, all right, we're going to, we'll see how they wrap this up, you guys. Gangsta Grass, they have arrived. Let's go. Of the conditions of release. We found a man the other day Hanging from the ceiling His sentence was almost down and in Right there on his bed Was a note so sad and simple Said he can never go home
I don't know if it's the honky in me, but that chorus just hit me right in my soul. Yo. <laughs> what? Don't make that face. Cause the, <laughs> yo, because it's, it's so ignorant. That is so ignorant. Because we literally started this out like, this is you were like, this is a colorblind reaction. So when you say that, I'm like, well, it hit me in the soul too, so what? I assume that it did, but I'm just, you know, if... If I have an opportunity to make an ass of myself and say some dumb shit, I'm going to take it. Yo, this was uh, lit, bro. This was flamethrower. <laughs> These dudes snapped in the story at the end. You're just like, wow. Like how he's just like the dude, dang, hanging. You're like, bro, what? Because you can never go home again. It's I never going to be the same. It reminds me of Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank Redemption? Shawashank. Is that how you say it? For I don't real? know. This dude said Shaw, you guys. I've never Shawashank. heard it. Shawashank. You roast me if Shawashank. I'm wrong, but I thought it was Shawashank, Shawashank. Redemption. And what did, what did I say the other day all jacked up? I said, it's, man, I'm always twisting words. Oh, you said Raga. <laughs> instead of reggae. reggae. Instead of, reggae. I was like, oh, what the f- Raga? What is Raga? Uh, reggae. Anyway. Raga. Oh, my God. <laughs> I said Raga. <laughs> is this Raga music? Then he'll have these deep interpretations and... <laughs> Weird history quotes. <laughs> All right, you guys, yo, this is gangster grass. This is bananas, yo. Yep. This is flame. Let us know. Amazing. We, yeah, this is amazing, amazing. Um, there's so much here. There's so much here. I don't even know what to say. I'm curious, like what other videos they have up. Yeah. Um, what I would say though, um, you guys, make sure you're following them. Now, this is on L R Bags channel. I'm gonna hit this with a like. Um, and you guys go subscribe, show some love. Uh, I'm going to look at more stuff they have when we get off because, oh, look, nickel and dime blues. Oh my God. That Loki is a great name. And it's three years old. How old is this? This is six years old, bro. This is too good of music to not get this credit. I mean, 10 million views is good, but that's not good enough, bro. This is insanity. Yeah, they should be on tour with the Dead South, bro. That's wild. I had no idea that video had 366 million views. This is what I'm saying. Holy smokes. Bro. That's what I love about this because every time I feel like, you know, we'll sit and we'll talk about like, yo, we need to find something new to react to or, you know, find something interesting. I spent three hours yesterday, you guys, responding to Facebook messages, Instagram messages, Twitter messages, and uh, I don't think Snapchat. Just just to be like, yo, what are people rocking with and seeing what I could find. Bro, and we then, should start putting my name in the like description so that some people can start stand, sending stuff to me as well because I don't get as many messages. You know why he doesn't get any messages, you guys? Because when I told him to blow up his social media, he never would post. And when I begged him, Begged and pleaded. Yo, oh, Don, I'm sorry. Don, please. I don't want to spend Don. my life on social media. See, and now, now, all of a sudden, now he want to be on social media. I'm just saying I'm trying to help you out. But I if want, you just want to take the I, burden, I if you want to just carry the cross on your own, no. carry it. No, I'm, I'm keeping it a buck. This dude has set up this whole system <laughs> technology-wise, so. But I had to rub it in a little bit because there were moments this where I was, true. like, trying to level with him. I'm like, bro, man, you just got to do this, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, you're right. Well, you told me to. I needed to start posting D pics was the way to blow up. And I just felt that was kind of sus. You're like, trust me, bro. Trust me, this works. <laughs> this Eggplants. works. Eggplants for life. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, yeah, man. Um, I'll, what we'll do is we'll figure out because I don't know if putting it on the screen is going to work. What I think is, if people want to link up with you, I'll put you in the description. Yeah. Because all my stuff's in the description. I can just add you there, and then yeah, we'll yeah, just yeah. be like, I'm saying, call to action. Like, yeah. yo, he 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 wants some stuff. He he's going to check some stuff out. Um, but yeah, you guys, gangster grass. This is fire. This is crazy as hell. Honestly. Fire. Yeah. Um, there's some I wanted to say before we left. Oh, Murica, baby. Like, I think this is dropping on Fourth of July. But isn't this beautiful? You know, I don't want to get into some long blah, blah, but I just wanted to say this. The melting because pot? Because it's the melting pot, and you get to see stuff like this, and it makes me proud of it's America. It's like gumbo. When people try to say America's not like this, yeah. this is just another proof. I mean, I'm literally the walking manifestation of America. I'm black, Mexican, got a little bit of French, Irish in my blood. It's like, come on now. So that's what I love about it, even though... Um, 
Anyways, I'm not going to get into it too depth, but it's, it's dope. I love the melting pot. It's beautiful pot. to see. Yes, people coming together and making amazing music, which music is the universal language. On that note, you guys, like, share, and comment on all the content. Let us know what you think of Gangsta Grass. Have you heard of them before? Are you have, you have you not heard of them before? Did you like this? Did you love it? Let's go. 40! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. Howdy.